I don't know whether you're seeing that or not, but this is so powerful. Let's look at it. It says, that which was from the beginning. Now, John, this John, was the one who wrote the book of Revelation, okay? And then, this same John was the one who was with Jesus, okay? One of the apostles. He was the one who was with Jesus, so close to Jesus. And Jesus gave him to take care of his mother. You remember that? This man said this. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. Oh, what's John saying? Imagine this. Come. Imagine what John is telling us. He remembers. He remembers how they touched Jesus. He touched Jesus. And he didn't know who he was touching at the time. When he touched Jesus. And on that last night, when Jesus was with his disciples, taking that last supper, he had his head against the master's chest. Okay? When Jesus was talking about dying. And they were all so tired and, and weakened by this news. But he often touched Jesus. And he didn't know who he was touching. You get it? And Jesus did say he was the son of God, but that didn't give them any serious impressions. You know? Until one day, when Jesus died, John was there watching. Jesus died on the cross. Then, Jesus was buried. The third day, they heard they couldn't find his body. So John and Peter ran together to the grave. This John. He, he told us the story. He said he outran Peter. He was younger than Peter. Outran Peter. He was ahead. He got to the entrance of the cave first. And he told us he didn't enter. He waited for Peter. <laughs> Maybe he was afraid. Then Peter came, the bold man that he was, ate at in and couldn't find the master. And he was inside with Peter. He said, when I saw the clothes, I believed. John believed. And came out of that place. He believed who Jesus was. But it was not over yet. Until the one that completely flawed everybody. It was when Jesus gathered them together in Galilee. He had appointed to meet them there. And had discussions with them. And while he was still talking to them. The Bible says he levitated. <laughs> Jesus. Lifted. And they watched him. His feet off the ground. Several feet off the ground. And he just kept going, going. Jesus kept going upward. Where is he going? He was going. They were stoned, speechless. How would you feel if you'd been with a man three long years and you saw him going up like this? He had been saying, I'm from above. He had been saying it. He had been talking about going back to his heavenly father. He had been saying it. And now you're watching him. No 
human equipment. And he goes higher and higher until he goes through the clouds. Oh God, who do I tell? Who will believe what I just saw? And Jesus was gone. Now, to think, the man we had been with this past three years was truly the Son of God. He blew our minds with miracle after miracle. We thought we had seen the end. We just kept seeing more and more miracles. And then, not only did he raise the dead, he now died and came out of the grave himself. They thought this was wonderful. Then, he ascended. God Almighty. He didn't disappear suddenly. No! They saw him go. Then he said, that which we have seen with our eyes which our hands have handled of the word of life. Oh, look at it. And our hands have handled of the word of life. I want you to look at verse 2. God Almighty, look at this. Verse 2. For the life, in parenthesis, I want you to see it. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it. Oh, God. He says, the life. The essence. You know what it is for life. Everybody's talking about this life. This is alive. This is not alive. And living things. Then life itself was tabernacled in a human being. And John says, we saw it. We saw life. We saw the very essence of life. We saw him tabernacled. We touched him. We handled him. He says, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it. And bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, hallelujah, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. Oh, glory to God. Oh, oh dear Lord Jesus. Oh. Oh. oh, the life was manifested, and we have seen it. You know, I read the scripture, I just can't get over it. Just can't get over it. Verse 3, that which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that he also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Say, our fellowship is with the Father. Father. And with his Son, Jesus Christ. Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Are you there? Say, I'm alive to God. You see, Christianity is a living thing. It's not religion. It's a living thing. No wonder he says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And he gave us the word so we can say the word. He wants us to speak the word. See, you can't speak what you don't know. Is that correct? You can't speak what you don't know. He gives you the word, so you say the word, because that's who you are. 